want to tap in to uh, to something that like how do I, I want to make sure I word this properly? Yeah, oh, fuck, I was going to. Have you ever slapped the shit out of somebody in the street and fought like in the streets? Like, has anyone ever pissed you off? Cause like, bro, if I walked around with your skills, I'm fucking dudes up if they look at me the wrong way. Nah. And that's coming from a humble standpoint. Bro. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> real, real humble. No, um, you know, been some unfortunate situations. Yeah, yeah, I've been in a few. In a few yeah, you, this the is room. the first time you lit up at me and leaned in. I was, All right, let's tap into this. <laughs> yeah, Hypothetically, yeah. there was a situation. Is there anyone you would like to bring up? Nah. <laughs> You're like, I'd rather. Nah. <laughs> nah. Fuck, I thought I was this close again. It's nah, PRT, there's so definitely no been way. a few situations where, you know, I'm a pretty quiet, laid back guy. You know, I'm not trying to, I'm just focused on what I got to do with my family. So, you know, if you approach me, you know, disrespectful or, you know, you're being disrespectful to my lady or trying to, you know, one of my friends or something, you know, that's going to be an issue. So. Mm. But yeah, it's been a couple of situations. Are you like a shit talker before or you just kind of quiet and then strike? I mean, I'm not trying to cause issues with nobody else, so I'm not loud with nobody else. But, you know, someone's, you know, every man has his line, yeah. you know, and if you cross that line, you know, sometimes there is no there's point of no return, you know, and yeah. everyone's line is at a different place. You know, we're, we're all different. So, yeah. Do you feel like sometimes when you're in public because they know like you're a fighter to try and get a rise out of you? Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like for the most part, you know, people have been, uh, yeah. they know what's up, but there has been. A couple people who, you know, I, I don't know if that strikes something in their insecurities or something where they want to try to prove themselves. But, yeah. you know, when you can really fight, you don't really feel the need to, like, prove yourself to. But again, you know, if they, they want to cross on that line, you know, you got to you got to do what you got to do. So have you ever walked into a situation where you're like, nah, I'm not doing this one? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, well, I no. have many of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where you're just jabbing at somebody and they're like, all right, let's do this. I was like, whoa, I thought we were talking here, buddy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I didn't think we're going to take this outside. <laughs> no, I don't I don't like to do too much talking like that, you know, because pe that's how people get hurt, you know. Oh, I know. And I've I know you're just fucking about, but, uh, you know, especially in the street, you know, somebody could get, get hurt, you know, and there is no respawn, you know, so just want to make sure you be safe. But again, you know, you got to. You got to stand up for yourself at some point, so. Yeah. Yep. Sadly, none of the moments, I probably started every single one of them because I was just like a stupid kid growing <laughs> up, and I was just like with my boys, and I felt like we were invincible. Yeah, once uh, you're with your boys, you know, you start getting a little, <laughs> your chest starts poking out. I, I, I really on. hope my uh, my high school, pic not high school, my middle school pictures, like, never leak, and I hope, and like, thank God social media wasn't a thing then, because I was in my, like, wannabe ghetto stage, bro, and it was... <laughs> Bro, I like we, me and my boys. We would fight, but we would just think that we were the baddest motherfuckers in the yeah, world. Yeah. And we were at this um this mall called Desert Ridge. Have you ever been to Arizona? No, I'll, I'll, one time, yep. Yeah. But uh, there, there's recently. an outdoor mall, and uh, dude, we were just stupid, like like literally just dumb. Yeah. And this dude is sitting at by his car, by his truck, and uh, he's just staring at my boy, and my boy's just like. The fuck you looking at for no reason, bro. Like there was literally no. Like, and by the way, I don't even think he was even looking at our direction. But he was just he, you know, like all of us were together. And there's only one of them. Yeah. And we was like, what the fuck are you looking at? And the guy goes, man, I'd uh, I shut your mouth if I know it's good for you. And then, <laughs> and then me and my and we, dude, I'm not even joking. We had like these fake chains, you know, in the mall where they give you some stupid yeah, yeah. chains and it's like not even real. And I'll never forget this. I'm like, oh, bro, you don't. <laughs> Oh, bro, you don't want it. And the guy's like, nah, you guys don't want it. And yeah. so I go, all right, that's it. My boy starts walking up, and I'm, I'll never forget this. This is when I knew I'm not, this is not my life. I'm taking off my chain because apparently I don't want to ruin my fake chain. Yeah. I take off my <laughs> fake chain, and in the middle of daytime, I hear, chuk, chuk, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I look yeah. up, dude's holding a shotgun. And when he told I told mean, you not to. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he gave me the warning. We yeah, were just yeah. stupid. And yeah. when I mean, like, Clearly. we realized none of each other had each other's backs. Because, like, I didn't even remember who my friends were at that time. Yeah. I jumped on cars. <laughs> I was gone. Yeah. I wasn't looking around to save anybody. So uh, it was, I, I realized very quick, that life ain't for me. Yeah, no, some people aren't playing. You know, that's why I said you got to be careful. Mm. You know, when you're out and about, you never know who's, you know, had a bad day. And you just added to it. And they've had enough, you know, so... Mm. It's good to avoid that at all costs. I've learned. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Plus, oh. you don't want to fuck your fake chain up either. So it's like. <laughs> By the way, like, I'm not even kidding. I told my parents that. And they're like, all right, we've given you enough time to pretend you're gangster, but you can't be doing that in Scottsdale. So, like, I had to change, like, all my shit. But it was cool back then, the sagging of the pants and, like, 
No. Yeah. <laughs> so Kids, <good>. you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe, uh, maybe nobody understands. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I did um, Muay Thai for a bit. Mm. And uh, Muay Thai helped me realize that you don't really know what somebody's capable with yeah. until you like run into it. Till it's too late. Till it's too late. And this is like around, I think this was like, no, nah, I think this was my last time I talked shit. Uh, I would sloppy fight in the ring, but I, it, 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 I'm going up against kids that were fighting for like a month. So like, I felt like this confidence mm. and some dude walks in <laughs> and I've never seen him at the gym. I've been in the gym for like maybe six months now and I'm like super confident in myself and he's with his girlfriend and this guy's so meek and so quiet. And I'm like, yo, who's that? I feel so stupid saying this. Yeah. I'm different. You look now. stupid saying this. <laughs> <laughs> well, go on, go on. Yeah, go on well, to okay. So, I, <laughs> so, and by the way, I was like 15, 16. I oh, wasn't okay. like in my 20s. Oh, okay. I very much learned my lesson. Yeah. And so, uh, so I'm like, yo, who's next? And uh, I look at him and I was like, no, not you, bro. Uh, don't get embarrassed in front of your girlfriend. Mm. And uh, he smiled at me. That should have been my first indicator. That's a red flag. Yeah, that's a huge red flag. He yeah. just smiled at me. Didn't say a fucking word. Mm. And I was like, all right, let's go. We get in the ring, bro. I swear to God, all I remember is the whistle blowing. Like, like we yeah. didn't have no bell, no nothing. And I did one of these things because my friend wasn't a fighter, but he was like this like gangster and he would just do this funny thing where he'd go like that. Mm. And then the people would like kind of let up and then he'd hit him mm. and he was watching me. So I wanted to throw in one of those mm. to like impress him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And impress all him. I, all I remember is, and I just wake yeah. up <laughs> and they're like digging the uh, mouth guard out of my mouth. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? And they're like, yeah, he kicked the fucking shit out of you. And I was like, one kick. He's like, oh yeah. And it was loud, but everybody stopped practicing. And as yeah. I'm walking out with an ice bag on my face, I look up at the gym and this dude is in every picture holding <laughs> a, a belt. And I was like, why did anybody tell me that? And he's like, yeah, he was in Taiwan training for like six months and now he's back. And I was like, all right. now I." <laughs> and by the way, this kid was like really skinny. It wasn't like we, I thought I was going to body this dude. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not the fighter. You got the experience though, right after you needed it. Oh, the experience was you're not a fighter. <laughs> Walk away. Not that day. You needed, be, you needed to be humbled, and that's what that's what you needed. I feel like I started the podcast, and you're like, I want to be here, and then now I said that, and you're like, I should just walk up and leave. Yeah. <laughs> so you're from, you said Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, Tennessee. like 25 minutes, 30 minutes right outside of Nashville. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, fuck so. with Justin Timberlake. I mean, he's a great artist, you know, he, he's done a lot of great things. I don't like listen to his music or even growing up, you know, I wouldn't like listen to his music on a daily basis, but you know, he's a talented guy. He's had a lot of success. Wow. I like him. Why wouldn't you listen to Justin Timberlake? <laughs> like, he's I mean, the best. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he's, he's the real deal.